Hey everybody, this is VG Logic, and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2 on the PlayStation 1. Next level is Crash Crush, and uh, by the title I presume it's another boulder stage. We'll know soon enough. It is a boulder stage, and we can tell because we're running toward the camera. Awesome! Okay, well in the last boulder stage I stuffed up a little bit, so I've got it all to kind of prove I'm not the sort of biggest Crash Bandicoot scrub in the friggin' world. Last time I had a bit of a problem with the fact that, um, well, I struggled to get all the boxes. And I kept kind of going for them. Uh, this time around I'm going to try and stick to my guns a little bit harder. Oh, that's a new obstacle. Yeah, I'm going to try and stick to my guns a little bit more. So, if I screw up a box thing, I'm not going to bother, you know, just failing over and over again. As I can't imagine that's too exciting. Okay, there's a bunch of Wumpa fruit over there, and I kind of want them. But let's grab this first, and then we'll come back, just in case, because we're going to give this one shot. Uh, I vaguely remember that this didn't really join up or anything. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's a bit fiendish, isn't it? So we've got to do a, a slide and then a jump over the hole. Like that? There we go. <laughs> I'm really pleased that went so well. Okay, moving swiftly on. This is going to take us back to where we just were. I suppose taking the checkpoint has its disadvantages because now, if I screw up, those boxes aren't already taken. Um, I don't care. I said, don't really care too much about the boxes. If we do. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, I'll finish my sentence now. Don't really care too much about the boxes anyway, so. That's quite a dick move, putting a mine right there. That basically spells your death. Ooh, Nitro. That's new. Can we get these nine one per fruit? It all adds up, you know? Alright. You ready? Ready. Go. Ooh. That sucked. Oh, that sucked too. Can I get done with that speed boost? Slide, jump, jump. Ah, I'm missing these speed boosts, man. Really nice to get those. Okay, the boulder's gonna fall down this, isn't it? But dumb. Nice. All right, I tell you what, we're gonna do this, and I know we don't have to pursue the boxes too hard because I've already missed a few. The bonus stages in this game are quite interesting, though they seem to be more kind of challenge based to get all the boxes. In Crash Bandicoot 3, I am certainly hoping we'll get around to doing Crash 3. They weren't really that challenging, at least I don't remember. I could be totally spouting out of my arse around now. Um, but I don't remember them being that difficult, it was basically just here is a bonus, because you are you and you've got here. Here they kind of are quite jump puzzly. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, of course. That was nice and easy. Gives us a free life. We've got a good lot of lives now. Ooh, and uh, I better not leave that, huh? <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. I would imagine these levels aren't that long, usually, so I think we're probably approaching the end of our boulder stage. And I think we might be in that kind of crappy position where the only boxes that we've missed are those ones in that kind of bonus thing that I tried and then screwed up. Which sucks a little. But you know, that's fine. If I was a good Crash Bandicoot player, you know, we'd be getting all the boxes and all the gems and probably the alternate ending at that. Oh, that's a dirty move. Look at that. There's a belly flop box over there. How many did I miss? It wasn't many, was it? Well, oh, it really wasn't. <laughs> oh, well. No point crying over spilt milk. We stood to the level and I think we played pretty well. Anything? Anyone talking to me? No? Alright, we're moving swiftly on then to the eel deal. Now, I love the music in this stage. I said that in the last video. I think I probably said it in the video before that as well, but the music in this stage is kind of cool. Uh, at least I think so. What have they got for us here? Okay, well the... There are eels, of course, with a name like Eel Deal. 
they electrify the water. You can't kill the eels either. Oh, that was a bit of a shit move. Um, but yeah, you can't kill the eels, so just wait it out, really. Don't get hit by these. I'm going to slide through anyway. Let me just time it. There we go. Very good. Okay. Kind of feel a little bit squishy without a mask. That's kind of pathetic. Okay, now those mice... You can't slide into. You can hit them from the top, though, so... Shall we just do it? <laughs> Man. Oh, I suck. Okay. Uh, let's just... There we go. Redemption. Right there. Okay. Eel. Mask. Wumper fruit. That was terrible. Okay, we've got time, we've got time, we've got time. I cannot be screwing up on such a basic enemy, man. <laughs> And let's not screw up the bonus stage. Where I think of our box chances this round. Uh, honestly, because there was that split in the map, I'm not sure what was over there. I kind of followed the uh, followed the Wumper through, didn't I? Um, if we're going for sort of exploration, maybe not the best thing to do. We'll just see how it goes, I suppose. I want some boxes. I do love how this game truly feeds you lives right at the beginning. Oh, hi. Gonna jump on you. There we go. And just time this. There we go. And so we did this last time. Let's follow the fruit again. To our crystal. Very nice. Let's belly flop a lot of this. I love that move. It's so good. <laughs> In the third game, uh, he gets the belly flop, of course, but also a kind of upgraded one where it really hits, you know, a ton of stuff around you, so it's quite a, a good move to use in a lot of situations. Okay, I think we've got those guys down now, so that's good. We'll wait for the eel to do his business. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, I'm hesitating here. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we should have died that for sure. We should have died that. I guess take our boxes. I think. Well, let's follow the wumper through, huh? Let's go down the hole. There we go. Curiously enough, we've got a checkpoint down here, and we must be nearing the end of the level because we've just got that box there, which takes out every night show in the stage. And obviously they wouldn't want to do that unless we were quite close to the end, I should imagine. Anyway. Hmm. It's kind of weird actually because the the, feel, the controls feel like, well, I don't know, I use normal controls for most games not inverted when the option is there. It feels quite counterintuitive for some reason to kind of press up to go down the screen here. Maybe it's just the camera perspective. That's a little odd. Let's just scoot past him. Do we want all this fruit? Well, got most of it. And moving swiftly on. I think we've done really well. Alright, now these buggers, they don't move. They just look at you and they judge you. They also kill you if you hit them, so we will, of course, stay clear. You take all the time you want, friends. Okay, there we go. Oh! You're kidding me! One box! Was that it? Ugh. Okay, well, I, it may have been in either the first crossroad or the second. I don't know for sure, but... Ah, oh, that sucks. You know what, when I'm doing the editing for this video, I don't tend to edit. Oh, I'll oh, shut up for a sec. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You are nowhere. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between warp rooms. Remember, I'll count. 
Okay, well I guess we have an incoming boss fight then. What I was gonna say is normally when I edit these videos, I don't really truly edit, but you know, I, I cough, I'm a human being, and sometimes I just edit those bits out. I'll probably see the box that uh, that I missed when I'm editing and uh, be really sad about it. But until then, <laughs> let's keep uh, let's keep going. Uh, second boss is the Komodo Brothers. Yeah, there we go. Do you remember how to take these guys down? It wasn't. Uh, yeah, let's try and remember this. I don't think these guys are particularly tough though. Okay, yeah, that's right. He pings his little... The big bro pings the little bro around. We hit him. They hit each other. And then they, they get hurt. And, and that's this is how you do it. Um, I guess we'll stay behind him. I think Ripperoo was tougher, you know. Okay, we'll just stay clear of this guy. He's not that hard to avoid. I mean, the stage is... Large enough. There we go. There you guys are on your last phase. I think the only true difference here... I think he starts belting swords at you whilst it's going. I think that's the only difference for the third phase. Alright, so if he looks at me, yeah, let's just stay clear. So there's not really a lot we can do with his little brother until he stops spinning anyhow, right? I think, is, is that it? We've done it? We've done it. There we go. <laughs> He's way easier, man. He should be the first boss for this game, and Ripper should at the very least be the second. But hey, we've done it, and we're into the uh, third warp room. Do we get any, uh, do we get shouted at? We do. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Yeah, the world is counting on me. But until then, a um, bit of a shorter video here because those two levels and the boss were quite short. But I think it's a good time to end it since we've just entered the third warp room. So we're going to end it here and continue on and... Uh, yeah, see if we can kick some butt in the next video. The next level that we will be doing is plant food, followed by sewer or later, I presume. Uh, but that is, of course, another video for another time. Uh, as always, uh, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.